This morning we're at the South Plaza's Islet, uh, which is a very small islet to the eastern side of Santa Cruz Island, which is home to a surprisingly large population of Galapagos lantiwanas. The population of this island is actually several thousand animals strong. What limits the population is the availability of food and geographical space. They eat fruit of these cactus, they eat the flowers of these uh, mat plants. Um, they're predominantly herbivorous by habit. And that is really one of the reasons why they're so successful in colonizing these oceanic environments. South Plaza is one of the few places where we sometimes have the opportunity of seeing the lantiwanas feed on carrion. This is very unusual. We observed a lantiwana feeding on remains of a seabird that had been left behind by an owl. Putting one and two together, we've come up with, they are very opportunistic and they'll eat whatever they could find. These iguanas are usually considered to be herbivores, but reptilian herbivores is something quite different to a mammalian herbivore, which means that these guys will sometimes, given the opportunity, eat things you would not expect them to eat. I couldn't believe all the iguanas and actually watching them eat fruit and birds. In my experience, I've only seen stuff like this, where they, it's not clear they had anything to do with the killing, and they're just kind of being a bit opportunistic. This is one of those truly amazing things about the Galapagos Islands. Surprising things like this tend to happen at the most unexpected of times. <laughs>